Today we're checking out a mini projector, this time the Deer for me A89. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. This is one of the most affordable projectors you can get. Normally $99, only $80 as of this video. Surprisingly, this one has electric focus, also has a digital plus or minus 40 degree keystone correction, 75 to 100% zoom. As far as the brightness goes, they're saying 15,000 lumens. It's got native 1080p resolution. 15,000 to 1 contrast ratio. It's going to work best on a screen up to 120 inches. Also has built in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi Fi. Only weighs in at 2.2 pounds. So it's going to be smaller and fairly portable. Pretty easy to take with you. Also comes with cleaning supplies and a small screwdriver. Pretty typical power cable. Audio adapter. You also get an HDMI cable. You can see you've got pretty much everything you would need right there on the remote control. Directional arrows, OK button, power, home, mute, menu, back button, volume controls. You've also got focus, plus and minus, and source as well. Pretty simple design here on the front. You've got a lens cap and remote control sensor there on the front. Now, as you can see, this is fairly small. I can pick it up with just one hand. It has a nice little leather handle here on the top. Also has the power and focus buttons there on the top as well. You've got some ventilation over here on the side. All of your ports are here on the back. You've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, HDMI port, two USB ports. You've also got a detachable dust filter and remote control sensor there as well. In the center on the bottom, you've got a mount if you want to put this on a tripod or mount this to a ceiling. Once I got this hooked up, I did notice just how bright this is. You could probably use this with the lights on, but obviously it's going to look better with all lights turned off. The home screen on here is one of the more simple layouts I've seen on a projector. You've got shortcuts to media, HDMI, DLNA, settings, airplay, Miracast, Wi-Fi, and support. It's also nice to have the focus adjustments right on the remote. Seems pretty easy to use as well. You also have Bluetooth on here. Pretty nice to have if you want to use headphones or external speakers. Also in settings you have network and then you can adjust things like color temperature, noise reduction, under picture mode. You also have sound mode and the typical things like restore to factory default, projection mode, software update, projection zoom, and pretty easy to adjust the keystone correction on here as well. Probably going to be personal preference on the picture modes. You can see there is a slight difference depending on which mode you choose. I feel like standard looks pretty good for most things things though. You can also use this one for presentations. As you can see here, everything looks nice and clear for our screen quality and text is nice and sharp as well. Once you connect to your streaming device of choice, you'll have access to all of your apps. And to me, this is probably what works best on this projector. Just watching movies, TV shows, those type of things. Like I said, the screen quality on here is actually better than I expected. Probably better than most other projectors I've tested in this price range. Also, I feel like the speaker speakers are plenty loud enough for a small to medium sized room. Probably could use a little more bass, but I think you could get away with using the internal audio if you had to. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. It's got good lumbar support and you can slide that little piece back there up and down. It definitely feels like more lumbar support than I'm used to. And as far as how deep the seat is, it feels like it fits me pretty good. When putting the chair together, everything seemed to go together fairly easily. I also tested out some mobile games using my iPad and Xbox controller and it actually played fairly smooth without too much lag, at least on retro games and mobile games. They also look really nice on a large screen like this. The one thing I did notice is when playing Rocket League, there was more delay playing that game, but it is a more fast paced game and it's probably going to come down to which games you're playing, but still not bad for a projector in this category. So overall, this is a much better projector than I was expecting, especially considering the size and price range. It's got good screen quality. The speakers are a little louder than you would expect on a smaller projector like this. And if you're thinking of getting this one, like I said earlier, I feel like this is one of the better options for 
a projector in this price range that I've tested so far.